with that being said, man, today's episode is brought to you by the good people over at DraftKings. You know, the leader in, you know, sports book and stuff like that because they are absolutely phenomenal and they're safe, secure, and more importantly, Deke, they are reliable. Absolutely. And we know we got first time people out there because this is my first time back, right? I was gone. This is my first time back. We all were first at one point in our life. But for those first time users out there, if you use the promo code MOATS, M-O-A-T-S, you'll receive up to $1,000 in draft deposit bonus money, which is awesome because it's essentially free money, Deke. We always talk about oh, big yeah. Deke investments and things like that. We always talk about, hey, man, I like these odds. I don't like those odds. Well, what if I tell you, Deke, hey, uh, you can put 500 in, you use the promo code MOATS, well, I'm going to give you another free 500 to put in as well. That's the concept. It is that simple, ladies and gentlemen. It is that simple. So shout out to DraftKings. But we also know you got to be responsible, right? And that's why we got these disclaimers. But you know, I'm not a big reading guy. So I'm going to just post it up here and let y'all read it. But what they say in church is, if you know somebody that needs some help, you better call 1-800-GAMBLER. Wow, yeah. If you got a gambling problem, whoa, better call that number 1-800-GAMBLER. Gambler, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know what deal is out there, really. I really yeah. don't. We should just play James Washington more. Or yeah. we haven't talked about this mm-hmm. the Anthony Miller signing. You're right. You're right. You're right. Is there potential there? He's going to do this whole practice squad yeah. thing like Carl Joseph, but had 600 yards the one year. People mm-hmm. compared him to AB coming out of college. Stop he was it. a second round don't pick. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, no. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> so no, AB. Don't do that. <laughs> Did you see we drafted James Washington like a few picks after him? Mm-hmm. I wonder if we would have drafted him if he was available at that point in the second round. Could have been different. Just with those comparisons yeah. to AB and whatnot. True. But yeah, second round pick, maybe he's got something. I don't know. I do, he, he had I bad do quarterback play with the Bears. Yeah, I do think it's intriguing though because he does bring a little bit more, right? A little bit more juice, especially for me. I don't know. It was just the, I'd take him over. Right that, that was my that's thing. my like that was my I, I thought we were actually gonna play James Washington. I didn't think right. we'd really miss a beat with that. And to Juju. me, that's the frustrating part because all signs pointed to James Washington. And now that it's Ray Ray and it's looking like it's going to continue to be Ray Ray, now I'm like, I'm not subtle with that. I don't I'm not I'm comfortable not with him being the number three. That's guy. why we're talking receivers. Right. <laughs> as much as we need O line, as much as we talk corners, it's like if Ray Ray has to be the third guy over James Washington, that doesn't bring the same level of juice to me from my perspective. And when I think of, I think of as a D coordinator, I say to myself, if I'm scheming, if I'm having to prepare, who can hurt me? Who hurts me more? Who makes me have to play certain coverages? And Ray Ray doesn't force me to do any of that. Whereas James does. But Anthony Miller, he does bring an element that could bring that. If he plays to his, to his ability though. Right. Yeah, I think he could yeah. be an upgrade over Ray Ray if we just keep yeah. deciding not to play James Washington, which yeah. just befuddles me right or now. Or we'll just run through Pat. Just, just Sure, man. Maybe we're Pat, doing Pat, Pat out there, Ebron is our wide receiver three, yeah. maybe. I'm like, if we go that way, cool. And I do like this, as we've seen these past couple of games, too, with Ben being way better, the usage for him has been a lot lower, right? We've been talking about having him 30 and under, right? Keeping those attempts down, he's been highly effective that way. If we're going to go that route, we can still get away with it if you're going to use these tight ends. That could be a way where you could say, okay, still Chase, still Deontay, but instead of always having that third receiver, go bigger personnel. Because we know those are matchup nightmares. We talk about that all the time. It's hard to guard Pat with linebackers. It's hard to guard Ebron with linebackers. So we got that still in the hole. And if that's the mindset, okay, cool. I'm fine with it. I'm I'd like just, to have just more insurance at receiver. Though. I would as just well. Ridiculous. I would as well, especially knowing that, man, wasn't Clay, wasn't Chase just dealing with a hamstring going into yeah. this game? Think about that. Now, if we were to take him out the lineup, and now you're telling me it's Deontay and Ray Ray, and James is maybe the third guy? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. You see how it's going now, right? How far we've come from <laughs> the offseason and the preseason talking about our wide receiver Holy depth. Holy cow. Yeah. We still have it. We're just not playing James Washington. That's, That's the, the part. That's the mind-blowing like, this part. Was, yeah. This was why... We had the four receivers. We weren't making any trades. We were content. It's like, okay, if someone goes down, we have James Washington throughout Correct. the season. This scenario has played out like we didn't want to happen, but it's like, the, you know, injuries happen, and we're not playing James Washington. So I just don't even – I don't know what to make of it. Hopefully it changes yeah, this week. We shall see. If we're not going to do that, let's give Anthony Miller a chance then. That's my that's my thing. I've seen enough of Ray yeah. McLeod at receiver. Yeah. I don't need to see any more. So, well, hey, well, that's the beauty of uh, this upcoming he's still week. Fine, though, he's still fine returning. He gets yeah. 10 yards every time on punt returns. Doesn't I love, it. love him as a returner. 
Love him as a return. I just don't like him as a third receiver. Yep. But that's the beauty, though. We're going to see what it looks like in Cleveland, man.